I have tried so hard, and without watching it, I cannot remember last week to save my life. Yeah, it's um kind of written in the XP log. It's the quick refresher. You know what? You are such a genius. Look at you. <laughs> <laughs> I know. It's like the uh, real uh, small cliff. We killed a large cauldron, baby. Oh. Yep. Mm-hmm. That's like the gist of it. Yeah, pretty much. Pretty much, yeah. I think the other half of that was just we were on the way to the uh, Finlandora? Finlandora. Mm-hmm. Also, we saved a cat. Mm. Most Pivotal. importantly, yeah, a cat was saved. A cat was saved. We it's also, cool. you know, saved a like a, a a a couple humans, but like one we brought back from the dead, and yeah, but we saved a cat. I'm there for the cat. Yeah, no, fair <laughs> enough. Yeah, is um, falafel meat? Falafel is falafel is meat. Cheese. Is falafel meat? I feel like Ted uh, answered it. It's chickpeas. Yeah, yeah decidedly chickpea. not. Okay, that answers my question. I'm not eating that. Unless those right. peas are made of chicks, little baby chicks, in which case, then yes. Oh my god. That's where yeah. orange chicken comes from, I think. That, that got dark. Mm-hmm. <laughs> really did. I'm just going to skip past that like I didn't hear it. <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah, you all... Uh, so you kind of planned a little bit about, you know, uh, the future trip for Finland or prepared yourselves, picked up horses and a cart, made your journey, grabbed Rael, began your journey out, um, stopped along the way to um, save those that remained in Small Hearth and end a, um, a true scourge uh, from affecting the entire countryside should it have continued to live and saved a cat um, and revivified someone. Real diamond cost revivify. Uh, Mm -hmm. Yeah, pretty pretty big, pretty big move from the cleric. Um, And you are uh, on your way to Finlandora. Um, The die has been rolled. A 10 was rolled on the 12-sided die. Uh, We will begin session with... um, the results of that. Oh yeah, you're right. Yeah. Dragon. Um. Also, I'm gonna give you the inspiration because you. Although I think I think we all kind of contributed. I you volunteered to start, so I'll give you the inspiration for the recap. If anybody else wants it, they can have it. It's fine. I mean, if you're just giving it away, shit. <laughs> I thought I was just contributing ad lib moments, not doing it. So, <laughs> in my mind, I didn't think I was doing it. Um. Okay. Is this? Yeah. Okay. I mean, the name of it, I guess, is correct. Um. <clears throat> cool. Uh. You all begin. Uh. You have left. The old road. The old road does not stretch all the way to Finlandora. Um, it stops on the edges of the wilds that serves as a break point between Bastion and Finlandora. Um, neither side seemingly willing to uh, invest into making a more permanent um, pathway. But pathway still exists. They're just not quite as clear. Um, you have chosen this path you're on. Um, who knows how long it will be easy going, but for now, um, the horse and cart um, traverses through. It's more of a more of a farm road, so to speak, where there's clearly lines uh, where people travel here occasionally with carts, but. Um, it's not clear of debris, and um, it's a little harder to maneuver at times. Much closer as the wood begins to envelop all of you. The morning moves by fairly uneventfully. 
Um, by midday, uh, by around midday, a light rain begins to set in, and a fog moves its way through the wood. Traveling through that and the next few hours of the fall getting thicker and thicker until eventually you come to a point where you wager it somewhere in the mid-afternoon, but it's hard to judge because the fog you're in is blocking the sky, blocking much of the forest that you're in. Your sight lines have brought themselves down from being able to see quite far to... 100 feet, then about 50 feet, 40 feet, and now you're approaching a thickness of the fog where you only have about maybe 10 foot of vision or so out from you, and the horses are beginning to, um, it's becoming harder and harder to get them to move as they're uncertain of what's ahead of them. At this point, one of you is going to need to actually, or more, but you're going to need to get off from driving the cart and actually grab the reins of the horse and lead them yourselves. Um, who wishes to do this endeavor? I can keep that up unless someone else wants to. I'll sit on the cart while you while you lead. <laughs> I'm brave. Thank you. Uh, Rael is um, on his horse that he is accompanying you all with. Um, his uh, He's basically gotten up next to the cart to um, make sure that he's not too far away. Um, special visions and whatnot don't help in this scenario um, unless you have some kind of blind sight um, as the uh, fog itself is obscuring vision. Um, okay, Ragnarok, not Ragnarok, Rainier, um is leading the two horses. Okay, cool. Uh, I also have, like, my lantern. I can have my uh, Rite of the Dawn active, so I've got some light. <laughs> oh, yeah, yeah, it's, it's, uh, the, the, the land, the, your Rite of the Dawn is much brighter than the, the lantern. Yeah. Um, neither one piercing the fog, um, but it does make it easier to see what's coming up directly in front of you. Um, give me a uh, an animal handling check, if you wouldn't mind. I'm not going to Yay! Very good. Uh, the horses are at better ease now that uh, they feel a little bit more sure-footed. Uh, but the pace is very slow now. Um, uh, everybody, don't forget to add um, 13 temp HP. It's a long rest from Zal's inspiring leader. Well, not everybody. <laughs> not everyone. But you oh, don't know that. Okay, yeah, not everyone. But you don't know that. <laughs> <laughs> um, <laughs> so is it... Um, uh, Rael mm -hmm. that gets that? Yep. Yeah, okay. So, uh... Okay, let me show. Okay, he does have it on his. Okay, cool. All right. <clears throat> Moving through the fog here, begin to hear some sounds. At first, they're distant, but they do become closer in time you hear a strange sort of call uh, oh not again oh. a few a few, a few uh a few minutes later an answer oh it's a response Got it. How close does it sound? Uh, make a perception not far away. It's not, it's not far enough. Frankly, yeah, not far enough. <laughs> <laughs> if I hear it, I don't agree with it. 
I don't even. I don't feel like I know exactly what animal that or beast this might be, but I don't want to know is also a good thing. Um. Okay. Um, on a twenty, quite mm. good. Um, initially, it sounds like they're probably a few hundred feet away. Okay. I'm listening for when they get a little closer. Sure. <clears throat> Leading the cart forward. Rainier, um actually we'll use Zol will use your perception check as well. As uh you're up at the top of the cart, um uh actively looking out right now. Um about another ten minutes or so go by, and then you begin to see Although the fog obscures a lot of this, you can make out there's colors in the sky. Kind of a rotating, very slowly, like green to blue to purple to yellow. It's very faint. And as you look around with your uh, 20 perception, you notice that um, it's not just kind of above you. There's some color splotches around you all. It's hard to tell their distance, though, with the 20 visually. You just see that somewhere deep in the fog, there's coloration in the sky. I will certainly point that out to everyone. <laughs> Another 10 minutes goes by. This coloration seems to get a little more slightly intense. You hear another calling. Mm -hmm. Much closer than before. Definitely not my cue to go that way. Uh, I'm going to switch masks. And then it's worth a shot, I guess. He said we're just surrounded by thick, like, dense fog, right? Yeah, very dense fog. I'm gonna cast this. And basically just spin around in a circle. Ooh, that's very good. Okay. The, the fog is gonna fill right back in, right? But it'll at least for one brief moment give us, like, a, like a 360... 60 feet like bubble of anything that's creeping up on us yeah 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 okay um very cool um as you create a gust of wind um it is 60 foot long yeah very good um you begin moving uh to create lines of this as you go moving aside the fog that you're right it will come back in but um you reveal two things. Um, you reveal um, one of the things that are floating. Oh. They look like this. Oh. Like, almost like a jellyfish that's luminescent, right? As it's, uh, or, or iridescent, as it's moving between several different kinds of colors. And there's these long jellyfish like tendrils that extend this thing is probably like maybe 30 feet in the air it seems to be like floating like a balloon but these tendrils uh some of them are like 20 feet long dangling yeah. down and you see it just drifting towards you all you also see fleetingly uh something a shape a shadow in the fog that moves yeah, I don't think I'm keeping it in any one place long mm. enough to, like, push anything back. But I, I'm i doing it and, like, spinning around really fast so that everybody gets a visual. Yeah, it's a lot of ground to cover. So, yeah. soon, you know, if you're, you know, by the time you turn around, the fog yep. is already, you know, c coming back in again. Um, So you reveal the iridescent air jellyfish. Um, and then you also see um 
it's if you had not blown the fog away, you wouldn't even known this thing was in there. Um, what is literally smoke, a creature like smoke, <laughs> kind of quickly like moves by. And as it does, you hear from its direction that same kind of uh, calling noise. You hear, you hear it coming from that one, but you hear it echoed around you all again. Um, Does everybody see this? Firm holding his eyes shut. <clears throat> Open your eyes. <laughs> you see Rael just draws a short sword out, holds his reins close, uh, and is just like looking around at the moment. Uh, we still are on a, a road, right? You were on a uh, very grassy path. Okay. I uh, would I know if if urged if I could get the horses to run, or or is or is this too obscured for them to safely traverse? Um. I will, uh, I will show you what you were looking at. Okay. <laughs> um, you know oh, no. nothing. <laughs> you know, due to the thickness of this fog, um, if you were to bring these into a dash, um, you'd likely break their legs or mm -hmm. uh, crash the cart because you literally won't be able to see what's ahead of you before you're hitting it. All right, uh, brace. Uh, <laughs> I think I'm uh, like. Uh... Sorry, which direction? Since all I can see is the cart, which direction mm -hmm. did we very briefly see the the jellyfish and the? Um, you the briefly... not the jellyfish, the um, the smoke the creature. Thing. Yeah, yeah. Um, you briefly saw the smoke creature in um this. Oh, actually, you can't. You actually, I don't think you can see my ping. <laughs> um, so I'll ping I think near I could. you. Yeah. Yeah. yeah just, could you? Okay, yeah. 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 Okay. You kind of briefly saw it around that direction. Um, and uh, one of the jellyfishes uh, you saw in this direction. Um, anybody who was under Karakara um, can make me an ancient arcana check. Mm hmm. So and me. And, uh, uh, didn't we see well, something similar? Uh, you did. We'll see if anybody remembers this. Fur might have seen one of them because one of them was at the uh, Umeli's campsite. If it's the same kind of thing. Um, you the which campsite? Uh, when we assaulted her when she was at the portal. Um, in the north, um, I think there no. was one of them, wasn't there? I don't think I don't know if there's one of these ones there. There might have been, but or I don't was it with the so. Drider King guy? It might have been. Might have been one with the Drider. To be honest, I don't. I don't know. Yeah. I don't know how, how often these things have showed up. I I know one place where they are for certain. I remember having <laughs> seen them one other time and been very unhappy about it. Yeah. <clears throat> um. Okay. Uh, Ember and uh, Ragnarok. Um, you both do recognize this from under. Um, Ragnarok, were you under Karakar? Yes. Okay. Some of those whispers. I switched out right before. Yeah, okay. that was uh, we right after. The... Yeah. Hey, as long as you know. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> um, uh, cool. uh, you. The two of you recall that this was one of the creatures that was stuck in that like time stop that this weird obelisk was creating. Oh. And there was a myriad of different strange creatures, um, all like from your perspective, they were all like moving towards the obelisk, but like frozen in place. Um, mm. From their perspective, they're still moving towards it, which is uh, terrible to consider. 
horrible. Um, but this was one of the things that was just there in him. Um, okay. Um, you hear those clicking noises around you um, and the colored lights dancing in the fog again ever closer. Since with the gust of wind, um, although we are going to roll initiative as these creatures are preying upon you, um, with the gust of wind um, getting a real sense for what's about to happen, um, you all can take um, like a single, you know, do a single thing of preventative or uh, preparation, um, you know, as you see fit. Do I even own anything like that? I don't know. Uh, Me either. We'll just go down the line. Uh, Ember, anything you are doing? I am casting Death Ward on myself. Okay. <laughs> casting Death Ward. Very good. Cal, <laughs> uh, anything you are doing? Um, I will... Ready in action to cast uh, Eldritch Blast at the first thing I see coming towards me. Okay, very good. Um, and uh, Kieran Jr. is next to your token, just so you know they are. Um, uh, yeah, out. I'm. Yeah, Kieran Jr. I'm gonna dismiss into their pocket dimension. This okay, seems cool. Like no place for a young familiar. For a young, for a young familiar. Um, remove them from the map. Uh, Fern. Uh, waiting for Ragnar to make a move, then we use haste. We got to see story. Uh, okay, Ragnarok, what are you doing? Shifting. Okay, you see Ragnarok shift firm. If you want to cast haste, you can do it now. He hasn't taken off, like, when he starts to, like, proceed towards somebody. Um, like, okay. that, well, ready, ready, like, in action, but it's going to be haste. It's... Okay, so on, 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 basically on your turn, then, in combat, you are readying the action for haste. You can change your mind, but that's what you are um, about to do. Here you go, man. Uh, Haste. Um, there are no okay. Hate now. <clears throat> um, yeah, just keep in mind that because you're readying it. Oh, no, um, I'm saying haste now because I didn't understand the clarification. Haste yeah, yeah, now, yeah. yeah. You, if, you can hold it for your first turn or you can do it now. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Um, okay, Ragnarok shifts. Haste goes up. Uh, Rainier. Uh, I've already got my thing up. I was just readying an action. Okay. Uh, Zal. Uh, I will bonus action bardic inspiration Rael, and then because it's probably fallen off by now, it's been enough time, I will actually recast Gust of Wind. Ooh. And I will center the the cone of it roughly where uh... I'm going to be the one in the corner. Actually, if you want to draw like a line for gust of wind, um, using the like AOE tool, um, then you can uh like move it right, and then uh, although yeah. it won't it won't clear the fog on the map as that's an effect, um, uh, I will um you know whatever the context is of where you're moving and everything. Yeah, this is the one that comes from the spell because I think you said it was roughly over there, right? Yeah, in that and kind of in that direction. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But, um, okay, cool. So you want me to draw a line? No, no, no. That's the template is down, so okay, yeah. you can uh, continue to like move and rotate that template um, in the directions you want. Just um, like for um, uh, obviously Ember and Zal, you don't have to make <laughs> a strength things there, throw for it. Uh, but do keep in mind, like if you're on the cart and then whip it around uh, through your allies, right? Like they are going to be affected. Yeah. Um, I'd have uh, to spend a turn to like whip it up. <clears throat> um, what is it? It's a bonus action um, to to move it. Um, yep. Yeah, 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 yeah. Essentially, it's a bonus action to move it now on each turn. Yeah, once you've done it. Yeah, yeah. Cool. Which I think I'm pointed at where I where I saw the thing briefly. Um. Okay. And then I was trying to point it at that, but I might be off by a square. It might be closer to over here. Uh, if you want to make any micro adjustments uh, in this immediate moment, uh, feel free to. Um, Rael casts mage armor on themselves. Uh, oh, it's adding a second one. 
<laughs> well, when the, uh, if you're in that tool, right, you should see like the explosion at the uh, like next to your um, person. And then yeah. you can just like click that and rotate that one, right? The tool. So it's the the little the measurement tool that gives you all the all the AOE stuff. Once you're in that tool, you'll see the little explosion icons um, pop up. It's right below the person icon on the left hand side. Oh, I see Ray template. Yeah, and then you can see um, there's like the little explosion marker, um, and then you can just delete the one that you're not going to be using. And here, I'll delete. It's essentially you just click on it and then hit the delete button. That gets rid of it. Um, cool. Okay. If everybody can um, roll initiative, please. For once, I don't feel like I'm going last. Ah, uh, so close. Yo. Hey, those are some good numbers, folks. Those are good. He's like, good, but not good enough. No, they're, they're, <laughs> they're quite good. Okay. Um, okay. I have to reload my. For some reason, everything is being quite laggy today. It might be the fog. Honestly, <laughs> it's probably the fog. Um, okay, Rainier, uh, you are first to go here. Um, you don't see anything immediately. Do you continue holding for um, attack or you do something different? Um, I think I will just shoot at disadvantage into the, like, space where I saw something out here. Okay. Just see if it hits. Uh, sure. Um, uh, go ahead and roll, um, attack, please. Yeah, I'm a, I, I would assume this is a disadvantage. Uh, the 15, uh, the 15 is going to miss here. Okay. And then I'm going to also fire my second attack in this direction and just kind of sweep, uh, like, yeah. Sure. Just, just see. That's not correct. Apologies. <laughs> Also funky ass music. It Ooh. is funky. Yeah. Uh for some for, for some funky boys. <laughs> um <laughs> okay, the 23 um uh I'm, I'm, <laughs> very good roll. Unfortunately, um <laughs> you see your um uh bolt just sail through, you know, you see it like whiff through the fog a bit, um, but you don't see or hear any like reaction to it. Yeah, I kind of just like fire like light bolts through the mist and just see but like it's not it, it won't do anything if it's there's no target on its path okay. uh but that will be it for me okay um sure. mm. trusting Rainier's judgment oh i can't even see Rainier. oh no <laughs> uh uh this direction where the gale of wind's going, he's gonna, uh... Yeah, that's flat. cutting a, a swath of fog out, but you don't see anything in that current swath. Just in that direction, he is blasting a firebolt. Okay. I'll go ahead and roll. Oofta. Okay. Um... Yeah, and roll one more time, because if you're rolling, like, blind, you're, you roll an advantage, essentially. Uh, sorry, sorry, disadvantage. Yes. Okay. 
following the line, the break in the fog. Um, again, as your um, you know, uh, magical abilities and art and your weapons and whatnot, uh, the light they provide, like you know, you can see it tracing in, into the fog before it's too obscured, um, but no reaction or effect from the fireball. Got it. Oh yeah, that's that's my turn. Okay, uh, Zao. Yeah, I will uh, take a step forward so that I don't catch Rael, and I'll rotate it with a bonus action. <clears throat> so I'll like hop down off the cart, so I'm like standing. There we go. I was like, there were two horses. Uh, and then from here, I will, for whatever reason, the template isn't letting me rotate it. I could target um, it, but I can't do anything with it. Yeah, so if you click the explosion button... Um, yeah. Uh, so if you click it once, so that way it's um, not, not right-clicking, left-clicking... Um, left. If you right click to where it's orange, that like removes the template, right? Um, uh, but doesn't delete it; just like puts it away. Um, so when it's active and you've clicked on it with left click, you can then hold the control button and mouse. I'm doing this right now, and you can mouse wheel and it'll rotate, or you can shift for faster rotation, right? But the um, the template has to be you know selected for you to do that. It works the same way when you're doing AOE spells that you can make your adjustment to the template um, before you drop it permanently. Okay, got it. Nice. I will sweep it in this direction. Okay. <clears throat> Sweeping in that direction, you currently don't mm -hmm. see anything in its path. Okay. Uh, I'll get rid of the other one. Yeah. Um, any a actions? Uh, I'll, I guess, throw my own firebolt into the dark. Okay, all right. Yep. Go ahead and roll with disadvantage. The key, the key. Mm. Okay. Woof. Its light disappears into the thick fog beyond. No effect. Any uh, any other movements or anything? Uh, nope. Okay. Uh, okay. Uh, Rainier, you see a shadow in the dark. Uh approach you see okay this shadow approaches from the fogs right up towards you and you can see one of its limbs it's again it's like a it's like made of cloud itself almost but there's this like vibrating kind of clicking noise that begins coming from it um and it tries to uh slam you with one of its tentacles uh, I'm going to use the blood curse of the eyeless. Uh, if it's immune to the blind condition, then this has no effect. It is immune to the blind condition, this particular Shit. creature. That's yeah. reasonable. It doesn't look like it has eyes. <laughs> <laughs> right. Um, okay. Uh, that is, uh, that's going to be a 23 to hit. Ow. Okay. Um, it's going to hit you for uh, 22 bludgeoning damage. Okay. And you are pulled into its body. Oh. Which is like being in a swirling kind of hurricane. Um, while you are, uh, uh, while swallowed by this creature... Um, you are blinded and restrained, and you have total cover against attacks and other effects from outside the creature. Okay. Okay. 
This creature, let's see, it moved that far. Um, so they're, they are quite fast. They move a bit here. Okay. This thing's speed. Okay, one of those colored lights comes fast towards the cart. Um, the cart is uh, the cart is covered as per your design request. So um, any, I'm assuming that like um, you know things you were doing from within the body of the cart, like you are like standing and uh, like hanging out uh, one side of it in order to. Um, to, to, to uh, make your effects known. Uh, but keep in mind, the cart is, you know, it does have a tarp covering on it. Um, although it is not a completely sealed environment. One of these jellyfishes come up and the tentacles begin moving underneath the tarp cover, reaching towards uh, someone. Um, let's see. Um, um, seeing those tentacles reaching in, will that trigger my held Eldritch Blast? Uh, sure, if it's to see something, yeah. Yeah. If you can see it, yeah. Uh, definitely hits. Okay, do you have any uh, pulling, pushing effects? I do. I can push it 10 feet away. Okay. Uh, yeah. Um, ping where you kind of want the direction you want it to go. Um, if it's reaching in from sort of the top and under the, it, it, so it's reaching in through the ceiling of the cart, I'm just going to push it straight up. Uh, okay. All right. It moves further up from you, which. Okay. I'm going to say, um, let's see, it would be. Will this work? Okay, it did work. Cool. <clears throat> um, excellent. That 10 feet actually uh, pushes its dangly tentacles, which are like long from underneath of it. Um, it pushes it out of range to actually grab any of you. Um, hmm. Menacing soul. Yeah, it'll use its remaining movement to come down a little bit, but it actually had to dash. Um, oh, no, I'm sorry. It has a little bit of movement. It just, uh, we'll just leave it there. <laughs> we'll just leave it there. The effect <laughs> of the push uh, prevents it from grabbing anybody. Um, okay, Ember. All right. Where did this shadow monster just grab my friend from? Um, it grabbed them. Well, um, at the start of your turn, could you see Rainier? I I could see him during the start of its turn, like when during it came out turn. and grabbed it. Okay, then um, you think the du the direction it was moving was in this direction, right? Okay, five. Right, I'll get under the wagon. To oh, okay, this is a lot closer than I thought. Um. That was unexpected. <laughs> I will go ahead and um what is the spell A melee spell attack. Here we go. I will use a bonus action to use my racial casting of flame blade which I will try to remember how to send to the thing. Here we go. Info button. Ha ha. It's bonus action to cast. Uh, and then I can make a, a melee spell attack as a, as an attack, as a stand action. Okay. And I'll just hit this thing. It's also getting light 10 foot radius dim for 10 feet. Okay. Extra light.
<clears throat> uh, 27 does hit. Although you, you are uh, currently uh, targeted by um, your, your flame blade. That, I have the little box around the thing. Yeah, I don't know. It's, it's, it thinks that it's hitting you instead. But it won't, it won't take away your damage Ugh. or anything. Um, or your health or anything like that. Um, yeah, definitely hits. Um, 14. 14 fire damage. Uh, okay, cool. Not immune to 14 fire damage. Okay, excellent. Uh, I think that'll be it. Cast leveled spell, so I can't use bonus action. How we... Yeah, okay, that, that's it. Okay, very cool. Um, slicing through the smoke, its body kind of reforms a bit, but it makes this vibrating kind of clicking noise. And through the, uh, uh, um, unfortunately, you actually can't, I don't think you can see, um, them yeah they have total cover um so you actually can't even see rainier um but i would say you know if you could see the thing then let uh we can easily assume that you saw rainier get pulled into him um okay cool um it also is, it's making a like loud clicking noise um which makes it easier to kind of detect where it is by the way. um okay any other movements or anything uh no that's it Okay, cool. Uh, Cal. All right. I saw my friend Ember Prime disappear into the fog in this direction and scream instructions uh, to, to Ryle to get under the cart and that things were way closer than Ember Prime anticipated. So I will head out in that direction. Oh, boy. Um, and I will cast a fairy fire mm -hmm. in hopes of making things a little easier to see. Okay, cool. Um, Rainier, you don't have to make that roll. Yeah. Oh my god, my entire screen is washed out. <laughs> Yeah, it's just it's bad. <laughs> so much light. It's, it's it's bad. Um uh okay, DC fifteen. Okay, they fail um and begin to uh glow for certain. Um time and... uh yeah, I'll just put a hand on sort of Ember Prime's shoulder and just scream, everyone stay close, it's hard to see. That'll be my turn. Okay, cool. Um, their glow uh, um, will make them easier to see, even if they disappear out of your range a little bit um, into the fall, but if they get too far, the glow won't really matter so much. But um, yeah, that definitely definitely gets them. Um, okay. Um, Cal, you feel something brush against, uh, like your back for a moment. And as you turn your head and look, one of these, um... Not now, Ragnarok. Oh, God. <laughs> <laughs> uh, one of these, uh, uh, iridescent jellyfish has come out of the fog down towards you. Um, again, it's about, uh, like 20 feet in the air at the moment. Um, as the tendrils begin to kind of, they are wrapping around and like equipment that you have on you, but also you as well. Am I making this thing vi visible? Yeah. Okay. Um, okay. Nope. That's not it. It's this. Um, okay. That's a 22 to hit. Yeah, that'll hit. Okay. Um, that's nine. Uh, nine piercing damage. Um, and the tendrils begin to wrap on you and your equipment. You are both grappled and restrained as these jellyfish-like tentacles grab you. Um, okay. Okay. 
Okay. Um, one thing that you kind of discover, though, as it does grab hold of you, is um, so many of the tentacles that it has are, like, uh, wrapping around you and your equipment. Um, you don't think it can grab anybody else while well, it has you. Alright. Um, uh, I'm gonna make a con save for fairy fire. Uh, sure, yeah. Uh, that'll do. Okay. One of these things comes down towards Rael. Little jellyfish man. I just wish I could see. It's pointing out. <clears throat> well, actually, I don't know. Maybe he is an initiative. Never mind. Yeah. I'll move it so you can see. Oh. Uh, that Good is right. going to hit the boy. And the boy gets grappled and restrained by all these tentacles. But thankfully, they were inspired this morning. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Yeah, even with the shield, that won't protect him from it. Oof. Um, okay, grappled and restrained. Uh, okay, Ragnarok. Scared. All right. Well, I see the one grappling my friend, so that's that's what we're going to go for. I was going to go towards the clicking, but <laughs> there's much more immediate danger in front of me. Here we go. Reckless. There we go, that's much better. This is two. Mm -hmm. Hey. Slashing away at the tentacles uh, hanging down. This is three. Sorry, I meant to say a bonus action rage. Three. This is four. <laughs> nice. I love to contribute. Thank you. I appreciate it. Oh, hey. Yeah, still hits. Love that you're rolling doubles for most of these. I am going to uh, savage attack that one. So that's one more damage. One more. Okay. <laughs> uh, five. And last one, six. Just in a being frenzy right now. <laughs> ah. Uh, that's my turn. Okay. Oh, let me use my resource. I forgot to push that button initially. Okay. Um, you have slashed, uh, like you have done a tremendous amount of damage to one of these things. Um, uh, in your attacks, it still has Cal grappled and restrained. You weren't, you, you, it doesn't break that. Um, but, uh, I mean, you can see this like iridescent blood just like spilling down onto the ground near the cart. Um, I, oh, okay, incredible. I... Anything else? Uh, no, that's everything. Yeah, it was a lot. It was a lot. It was a lot. Yeah, it was um, an excessive uh, amount. <laughs> okay, right now. Um, no, it's on there. Turn. Okay. Uh, we got that. Okay. Ooh. He's going to. Well, yeah, he's restrained too. Um. You see, he puts a hand on one of the tentacles, and you see um, sparks of electricity uh, shoot out around it, um, but seemingly to no effect as he misses from being restrained. Okay. Uh, you hear clicking noises. Um, oops. Uh, you hear clicking noises towards the south. And in the gust of wind, one of these fog creatures is seen for a moment. Um, um, Zal, uh, when people walk into it, it does stuff? Or is it just when you put it on? Uh, 
if their movement speed would take them towards me while they were in it, they'd have a brief like two to one for their movement speed. Okay. okay. But if they're going at cross purposes to it, no. So if it was angled to be in any way towards me for a very brief second, they'd be slowed down. Okay. Um, we can slow them down for this as they... Uh, I'll even say... Yeah, because they were... You hear them. They step into it. Um, They move very slowly towards you uh, before cutting onto the other side of the beam. Mm -hmm. um, but your gust of wind, we're going to call it that, it, because they're made of air like this, um, it's a little more effective to them. Um, so it comes close to you, but um, doesn't actually, doesn't get to do anything to you yeah. uh, because of it all. Uh, there is more clicking noises coming from the fog. Another one from the back moves up. Uh, firm, this fog creature, the smoke hey, creature, comes up to the back of the cart, pulls like the little tart flaps aside. And uh, one of the ten one of its like smoky arms reaches out towards you. Is it is it grabbing me? Like actually, it is, it's attempting to. Um, it's a twenty three to hit. I will shield. Okay, what's that? Bring your AC to. I think twenty five. Twenty five. Okay. <laughs> Just hits this barrier surrounding you, um, and that is all yeah. that it can do. It's twenty five. Okay, incredible. Um, wait, what is this one? Oh, okay, I didn't move um, token turns. Um, okay, Rainier, that's you. You are in the boy. Mm -hmm. um, I can still attack just at disadvantage, right? Yeah, you're grappled and restrained. Um, okay. Uh, okay, you're going to take... Uh, at the st Oh, sorry, it's the start of its turn, not your turn. Okay, good to know. That's fortunate. Uh, yeah, we'll hit it from the inside. Okay. Uh, and... Uh. Oh! Yes! Yo! That's... Uh, 22, 32 damage in one one round? Correct, yeah. Okay. Just um, hold down the trigger. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Point out. It, it has to make a con save to see if it can keep you swallowed. Okay. Uh, the DC is 13 for it. It has a plus 2. That's a 20 for it. Silvery barbs. Okay. <laughs> Can you see the creature currently? I can see the creature currently. Okay. I see it trying to suppress a dry heave. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> okay. That is a failure. Okay. Um, okay. You fall prone within um, 10 feet of the creature. So okay. you're kind of launched out of it. Excellent. Projectile uh, vomit. Yeah. Uh, and, and as I'm being vomited uh i will brand it as well okay hell yeah uh where do you want to be i think you can you can move your token oh um, that's nice <laughs> yeah yeah because yeah. I, I it's because it's um uh 10 feet within so i'll just let you pick where you want to fall out okay so it doesn't uh, have to be 10 that. yeah you can drop like right next to it yeah um ember prime you will get the advantage sweet okay um, and then it's branded. Does it need to do anything? Uh, nope. Um, it will just take two psychic damage if it attacks me or someone within five feet of me. Okay, gotcha. Gotcha. Yep. Incredible. Um, you see from, like, its smoky form is, uh, like, part of it is flickering. Um, like, it pulls itself together and then kind of, like, softens a bit and then pulls itself together. You've done a, a lot of damage to it. Yay! That's it. Okay. Okay. 
Um, oh, let me double check if it's um. Uh, you are prone. Um, when you land, so do you want to stand uh, yeah, up? Yeah, I'll I'll take. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Uh, okay. Firm. He's gonna risk it, but he's just like gonna sidestep over here, mm -hmm. and then try to jump out the side, like over, through the tarp. Okay. Yeah. Definitely tries to get a hold of you. Um, oof! Not with a thirteen. And then is this thing floating? Is that what it's doing? Um. Uh. Yes. It is. Uh. Twenty feet in the air. Oh, uh, then I will step. No, that's his gust of wind. What happens with gust of wind if I step in it again? Uh, nothing until you start your turn. And on the start of your turn, you might get thrown. Mm -hmm. mm. Oh, okay. That's where that thing's at. My bad. Uh, he is going to try to. Get... Not 15 there, but 15, and that would be my 35. And then aiming in this direction, uh, I will use Rhymes Binding Ice. Just shift? Yeah, I remembered. Okay, very cool. Nice way to get around the can't see things is just put a cone in front of you. Hell yeah. Yeah. Hell yeah. Go ahead and roll the damage for him. Okay. Um, oh, they have advantage. Yeah. Uh, they both succeeded, but they take damage anyway. Mm -hmm. um, I think they're just not affected by other things. Mm -hmm. Yeah, they're not like slowed down or iced in place. Um, very cool. Well, that's about it for him. Okay. Incredible. Uh, Zal, you have your gust of wind going. Yeah, but not for long, I think. Yeah, you see the one creature, um, the smoke creature. Do I have it? Here we go. The smoke creature here, and then the uh, this has um, uh, the jellyfish has Raoul. Um, Raoul. Yeah. Uh, Seeing as how we are bereft of a front line over here, uh, mm -hmm. I'm going to have to bring my own. Put your face. Concentration. Time to go, Jurassic. <laughs> okay. Bruce. Okay. Big, big volley. <laughs> Very cool. Yeah, Very like cool. I tried to move enough, but uh, the horses are gonna be one of the horses is gonna <laughs> is gonna get caught right near it. Well, I think, you know, you'll fill the space, I'm right? looming. I'm yeah, looming. yeah, yeah, you're looming. Exactly, exactly. Uh, for, for a big shadow co <laughs> comes over top of you as you turn to see a, uh, yeah, a I, huge... Okay. Uh, a, yeah, huge Jurassic like creature. He just ducks down. Yeah, <laughs> just covers his head yeah, and all of it. Wind. He's just like, can't do this, can't do this, can't do this. Uh, yeah, you can... Yeah, there you go, there you go. I got it, I got it. Okay, cool. Polymorph into creature. Mm -hmm. um, That's action. Okay. And you have the um, uh, creature's um, sheet up for you to use? Yep. Okay, yeah, cool. you, you got it. In here. Okay. Um, incredible. Incredible. Um, okay, the creature next to you, Rainier. Yeah, it definitely wants to eat you. Which fucking... Oh, delete that. Sorry. I just wanted to check something. Delete that. <laughs> um, okay. Uh, the smoke creature next to you, Rainier, strikes out with a 17 to hit. Uh, I think a 17 hits, but it does take two psychic damage. Okay. Okay. Uh, yeah, 17 does hit. So, okay. Uh, gets you for uh, 24 bludgeoning damage. Ow. <laughs> and you are once again... <laughs> Pulled back into its body. God damn it. <laughs> yeah, you see, um, it makes a move to try to get out. Um, Ember, you're in rhythm range um, for op attack, if you like. Sure am. Yeah, it's also fairy fired. Uh, and concentrate. No, I want to make an attack. Oh, that's what those buttons are for. Yep. 
Yeah, I'll take that. Yo! Hey. Whoa. Whoa. Mm-hmm. Oh, let me move it back. Oh. <laughs> let, me move, let me just move it back. That's going to be... Oh. Spicy. Uh, 25 damage. 25 a lot of two damage. Okay. Four twos. Oof. Oh. No, three twos. I can do oh. math. God. Hey, no, no, bad. Drop it. <laughs> drop him. Uh, drop it indeed, as you see its form like implode for a moment and then detonates. Um, the detonation does good. <laughs> the detonation doesn't do any damage um, uh, to anyone. And Rainier, you plop down uh, prone on the ground. Um, what does happen, though? is um its death burst ability which is uh, i'm sure it's fine. It's, it's, it's i'm sure that fine. yeah 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 it's it's good. De- definitely, definitely good you said good. death burst death mm-hmm. burst it's called burst yeah yeah, I yeah, love that. Love that. Boom. Name. Oh god. Uh, Ooh, uh, there's there's a wave of energy that blasts out and all sound stops in the area. It is just Ooh, silent. Okay. We need to have some words. So well, too bad because we can't hear shit right now. <laughs> <laughs> um to be uh oops, let me grab one. This is where the session ends to be continued. No, 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 no. <laughs> um yeah, for the next several hours all sound is negated. Um no, I'll tell you the uh, smoke monsters are not affected by this thing. <laughs> they still they they still click toward to each other, but no one else can can hear that. Um, okay, in round of is that not sound? They have telepathic it's, clicking. It's sound, but they're not affected by this death burst ability. Gotcha. Um, uh, this is a dumb question. Does that count to voke to voice semantics? A vocal? Yeah, yeah, sure does. Yeah, all sound is negated. Yep, you need no thunder damage, no somatic component, or no verbal components. Yep, yep. Mm, nice. Um, okay. Uh, yeah, you're I, right. I hit delete on the token, and I'm not sure if the order is correct. Is all the, you already took your turn? Yeah, polymorphed. Oh, okay, okay. I just wanted to make sure I wasn't skipping anybody. Um, uh, as it went to the the jellyfish. Okay. Um, okay. The jellyfish is gonna um, r- come down and reach towards uh, you, member. Oops. No. Uh, here we go. Uh, twenty one. I'm sorry. What's hitting me? Uh, the jellyfish that is floating in the air above you. Like this one. No, I, it might not be showing up, but it's literally floating in the air above you. Oh, okay. I do not see it at all. Yeah, I think it's because it's a token has been. It's actually like it's tagged as thirty feet in the air, and you probably can't see it because your vision is at ten. Got feet, it. Right. Uh, I'm mm-hmm. sorry. What was the total to hit? Um, twenty one. That will miss. My that AC will miss. Twenty two. How about it? Okay, let me bring its um, height down. I don't know if that will then show the creature or not. Yep. It does. Yep. Yeah. Okay. Cool. 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 Hey, it, it, it just works, Todd. It just works. <laughs> <laughs> um, okay. Can't get you, but it is your turn. Can't get me, but it's gonna get got. Mm-hmm. Wait, is it still so high that I can't actually hit it? No, no, no. It, like, well, okay. its its body is still in the air, but the tentacles are like down, right? So you can attack it by attacking the tentacles. Good enough for me. Yeah. So strong. Yeah, definitely gets it. Hmm. Fourteen fire damage. Okay, this hell yeah. Found- Foundry still thinks I'm attacking myself because I'm getting concentration reminders I, yeah. every time I deal. I know. I know. <laughs> <laughs> um, Any, anything else? Any movement? Yes, second? I will use a bonus action to rip a piece of the flaming sword off and toss it over at this guy, and I am casting spiritual weapon. Very cool. 
uh, just at second level. Nope, nope, not at menacing Saul. Utilities, spiritual weapon. There we go. Target this one. Bring this sheet up. Spell book, spiritual weapon. Mm -hmm. uh, 19 does hit the jellyfish. Ooh. <laughs> Oof da. I don't, I don't know why I'm suddenly have a prone spiritual weapon, but uh because it targeted the spiritual weapon. No worry, he's fine. <laughs> <laughs> it's fine. He can recover. He's doing great. It's alive. And that'll um, be it. Okay. Uh for six it took the Oh yeah, 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 yeah. Okay. Very good. Uh, Pal, you are grappled and restrained. And uh, everything is completely silent. Does Spiritual Weapon have a verbal oh, component? Shit. That's a good it, point. It does. It sure does. So, nix those six points of damage. Okay. I cannot get rid of my Spiritual Weapon. I'll get rid of it. I will get my spell slot back. Yeah, okay, right. I'm not casting anything else. Uh, would you have done anything different with your bonus action? Uh, no, I don't have anything no. else. Okay, very good. Okay, Cal. Um, I know that it's gone silent. Would I know that this means I can't cast spells with a verbal component? Yeah, yeah, you know how magic works. Um, Do you want to decide you don't know how magic works? <laughs> no, no, I, I just, it, it's it's happening so quickly that I don't, I just didn't want to cheese it. No, um, no, you're fine. You're fine, man. All right. Um, I will. The fighting situation was great. I will, in this case, use a sorcery point on subtle spell. So I don't mm. remember bad <laughs> <on> this. <laughs> So and, good. Start blasting. Uh, I will just pop down right next to this thing because I'm an idiot. Um, and well, you're currently grappled and restrained, so your movement is zero. Well, I misty stepped out of it. Oh, I didn't hear you or see you cast misty step. Oh, sorry. Um, yeah, I'm misty stepping out of it as a bonus action uh, okay, and using cool. subtle spell to do it. You got it. I heard the subtle spell part, but not the other. Yeah. I'm going to try and stab this thing. Ooh. Okay. Lick it, kick, kick it. About what uh, you would expect. That, it's one away. Oh, no. Oh. That's it for Cal. Okay. The jellyfish. Uh, the jellyfish tries to get hold of its meal again as it somehow escaped it. Um, a 19 to get Cal. 19 will hit. Okay, that's going to be 12 piercing as the tendrils once more wrap around you and your equipment. Um, that is all it does. Okay, this thing here. Um, I don't know if it can, can it cry. This is oh, okay. Your size is huge. It's okay. Mm -hmm. Okay. Umongos. Uh Oh, this thing has Rael grabbed. That's what it's yeah, it does. doing. Okay. Um, okay. Let's see. Oh, okay. Um, let's see. Um, 
I get firm and Zol. Mm -hmm. You you both see as um, the uh, tentacles that have Rael and his equipment grappled. Um, you see uh, like trails of light and color pulling up from Rael up the tentacles into the creature um, as it drains the color off of Rael's armor and consumes it and Rael's armor just becomes black and then he takes damage I was like Firm's facial reaction is also, like I guess that's fine if Rael has ever has to do any like saving throws or anything i gave him a normal bardic inspiration yeah he has it's pretty yeah 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 he has Before um all the he shit. might do that on his turn um okay um hell yeah you see as the color fades away from the armor um you see some of the life force from rail also fade with it as that part takes, part. yeah he takes uh some necrotic damage Ooh. Okay. um uh huh. Uh huh. Oh, that's all the creature does when it has somebody grabbed. Okay, cool. Ragnarok. All right. So I fucked up and I treated my haste like an action surge. So I only get four attacks. <laughs> I apologize. Oh, okay. Classic. Cla classic. Classic. Hey, hey, you make so many attacks, nobody even notices, right? <laughs> it's just like, out. sure. <laughs> sure. So I'll do only four this time. <laughs> okay. Only four. You said. <laughs> Oh, oh wait, no, five. I have my bonus action back. Yeah. <laughs> so now you're back five, at five. Yeah, five. Why don't we do four so you never do it again? Okay. <laughs> uh, no, you know, yeah, whatever your normal attacks are. Yeah. All right, eleven. Uh, hell yeah! Uh, first attack just slices clean through the tentacles, and uh, Cal is released. That's not um, a uh, Okay, it does activate their color burst. Um, when this yeah, dies, cool. it explodes in a maelstrom of colors. Um, all creatures within 20 feet of it um, need to make a DC 13 dex save. Don't trust it. Oof. Even um, with advantage. Man. Didn't you take the inspo? No, uh, um, I was I was just joking. I was. I'll take it though. I will. Take it. Uh, <laughs> I will also, yeah. Let's let's use an inspiration for that. Uh, I'm, I'm also going to be also gonna be you. on that deck set. Oh, thanks. Yeah, and it's also that'll do. Some of the creatures. <laughs> You're welcome. Thank you. Oh, yeah. how your dice get me every time. Some of the monsters get caught in this. As they should. Um, turn the fire. Ooh, ooh, I love horses. <laughs> Don't forget, I got phantoms to eat. It's I. Right. The horses. Ooh. Um. Ooh. Okay. Was well, this monster over here too? Thankfully, not Rael. Okay. Uh, okay. Um, the DC's 13 deck save. Um, uh, those of you that succeed take half. Those of you that fail take all. Um, it's 18 necrotic damage. Oh, I'm resistant to that. You're resistant <laughs> to that, yeah. Oh, I forgot about that. Um, that was only Rydrock's first attack. <laughs> uh, let's see. That's, uh, let me hit the damage um, to the creatures here. This one actually takes another line. Ooh, okay. 
Uh, there's a large crash as uh, the horses corpses hit the ground. Ooh, Except we can't. Yeah. Well, <laughs> yeah, you're right. <laughs> you can maybe like feel it, kinda. Not questioning. I have a giant ass dinosaur standing over me. Yeah, the, yeah, definitely. Yeah, yeah. The vibration still still functions. So there's like a... when the T Rex roars, you're gonna feel it in the bones, but you're not gonna <laughs> hear it. Okay. Cool. I'm gonna use the rest of my four attacks against this guy. Okay. This is number two. Misses. Wow. Number three. Okay. Um, uh, while you keep making all your attacks, um, okay. Cal, Ember, and Rainier in the um, actually Ragnarok, Cal, and Ember in the wake of the explosion, you can choose one. Um, equipment or item that you are carrying, um, and its hue color has been changed permanently. That's kind of cool. <laughs> Different. Uh, What's your we'll say my gloves. <laughs> I like that. <laughs> For and then. Gonna savage attack with that one. Nope, no change. <laughs> Same damage? Okay. <laughs> Same damage. No. We're not moving up on this one. Mm -hmm. All right. And that is my last attack. Okay, uh, pretty good. You, you see a lot of the... So you've somehow cut fog. <laughs> you've cut smoke with your claws. Uh, and the form of this thing is flickering as you've inflicted a lot of damage. That's, That's right. Return. He's in the air. Okay. Air. Um, anything on... Nope, it's on there. Okay, cool. Uh, Rael is going to try to get... Uh, out of this uh, grasp. But he is. Um, okay. Uh, we'll do both bowls. Acrobatics. You cow. And he has a, it's a oh, D8? Yep. No rerolls or anything. Saving throws. Doing that. Okay, cool. Oh, thank God for the D eight. <laughs> <laughs> um, hell yeah. Uh, he uh pulls the rein, clicks his heels on the horse, and him and the horse uh just move into the shadows, out of um into the fog, out of that creature. Um, he and the horse are kind of just moving around, sees, sees that terrible jellyfish, tries to keep away from it. He sees an ally, and then he will stop there. Uh, Rainier, you uh, see Ryle and his horse come up to you. You can see him shouting and then like pointing um, into the fog from whence he kind of came, uh, but obviously you can't hear. Um, okay. Incredible. Um, this smoke creature, uh, let's see. Uh, one and two, it's firm. Um, three and four, it's the big lizard. Hey, Brave, you go for the lizard. That's a four. Um, hell yeah. Okay. Oh my God, it's 13 AC. And this thing sweeps in around, um... Technically, firm, you can make an op attack, but it's your reaction. I don't have any weapons. I don't think I can. Okay. I don't think... I, I, I literally don't think I have that reaction. Okay. I mean, you know... You got you a know. kitchen knife. Yeah, a kitchen knife. You can try to stab it. Swing oh, I'm good. I'm good. In case I start getting swung on, I, I'm going to need the shield. 
Okay. Where did the thing swing around to? Um, it's um. Oh, so, sorry. We'll put it right there. So you should be able to see it. Um, fifteen to hit for eighteen bludgeoning. Okie dokie. Easy con save. Easy con save. Yeah. So you said eighteen. Yeah, eighteen to. I hit. still can't quite see it, but I'm gonna assume it's down for me. Oh. Uh. Yeah. It is. I think my vision just didn't didn't like adjust to being <laughs> proportionally larger. Mm. Oh, you actually you're you don't have vision <laughs> is the problem. The token didn't have mm. vision. Okay. I see. You, do you see it now? No. No. That's true. You don't see it now. I put it I also here. don't see the jelly. Okay. <laughs> Interesting. You don't want to see the jelly. You don't want to see the jelly. If I put it Oh, here, now I see the jelly. Yeah, if I just kind of finagle them a little bit. Um, Tyrannosaurus Rex. Rawr. Rawr. Yeah. Uh, okay. okay. Um, it hits you, but... Mm -hmm. Medium or smaller. I was like, there's no way this thing can swallow I, you. <laughs> I would love if interdimensionally it puts a T-Rex inside of it. Uh, Unironically. Um, yeah, it hits you. You can see like uh it begins like trying to like grab hold of like portions of your leg before it can't it realizes it can't consume you. Um and uh um that's it's life right there. Uh okay, Ragnarok, the uh air guy next to you. Um, goes for an attack. Oh, he's agitated. With advantage. He's right. Um, that's only a 21. I think that misses you. That does. Yeah. That's a shame. Uh, <laughs> no multi-attack. Just single attack. Okay, cool. Uh, so it's slamming you, slamming around the cart and everything in complete silence. Rainier. Uh, you okay. did land prone, so you are currently prone now. Okay, back up. <laughs> <laughs> there you go. Uh, I'm I'm assuming Rael, he was coming from this direction, right? He was coming. He came from that direction. He's pointing his sword, um, uh, like in this direction, right? He's not. Gosh, um, <laughs> yeah, I mean, you can see the jellyfish, but like he's not pointing up at it. He seems to be pointing past it. Yeah, something beyond that. Okay, well, I can see the jellyfish, so we'll start there. Okay. Get down. Nice. Ooh. Yeah. Two to mean ink sack. Okay. Uh. Yeah, that's 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 it. Okay. Any movement or anything? No. <laughs> no. no. I, okay. I'm scared to see what's out there. <laughs> <laughs> really the mon, the mon, the ghost slaying monster hunters. <laughs> Well, I mean, if I move forward, like, you know what, I'll I'll interpose with Rael, but, like, I'm losing sight on people if I move, so... It's, it's true, that is true. Yeah, <laughs> okay. yeah, it's less fear and more of, I can only see two allies at a time. Uh, yeah. <laughs> okay, can firm. Can I scale this giant-ass dinosaur? What's that? Can I scale this giant-ass dinosaur? I mean... Um, the dino. I mean, I uh, get it's really whether yeah. the dinosaur is willing. Um, I meant like, like mechanically. Like, would you let Firm ride this dinosaur? I feel like a dinosaur is strong enough to carry Firm because it's your ally. Uh, yeah, uh, I mean, yeah. I am made dumb, but the the program in my head says this friend. So yeah, fuck it. Yeah. Um, it's a very large creature. So I, um, yeah, how uh, how do you imagine yourself getting up up to it? Let me see. I have something in here. I think. I don't think oh. it's gonna assist you. In this yeah, moment. It, yeah. He he can't help you on his turn. I mean, on, on your turn. Ah. Do I have my rope? <laughs> oh, 
Where is it at? It's in here somewhere. I do. I'm going to take the rope and throw it around. Like, throw it up around the, the, the dinosaur's neck and then tie it off a little bit. And then just, okay. like, use it as, like, a rappel, but, you know, going up. <laughs> okay. Okay. Um, uh, you're doing rope climbing. Um, I'm going to give you a very low DC, but an, uh, give me an athletics check because you're rope climbing. Um, the DC is just five, okay? Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. I have a negative one. <laughs> <laughs> so scary. Yes. E- easy, easy, <laughs> easy. Okay, you've scaled to the top of it. We'll call that your movement for turn. Yes, thank you. Like the second you get on its neck, it like rears the neck back to throw you onto the back. I lost my shield spell. That is okay. I'll add that back in a minute. Um, and then double check what magic missile is. I don't. I can target multiple people, correct? Uh, yeah, you can target multiple people. Does it require oh. verbal? Yeah, it sure does. Never mind. Yeah, yeah I'm assuming the 60 verbal? feet death burst goes up, right? Um, co- correct. Yeah, it's a whole yeah. radius, so it's a big sphere. Mm-hmm. You know, Nuz does not require verbal. Binding eyes. Mm-hmm. Really? <laughs> yes, huh. it's semantics and materials. Huh. Hell yeah! <laughs> fuck, fuck yeah! Okay. And then just basically right over the top of this thing, I just don't know how to point it down, you know. But yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, this one. Okay, incredible. Okay, does succeed but takes damage. Is not resistant to the cold. Hell yeah! Blasting spells from the top of a T Rex. <laughs> Living the dream. <laughs> Incredible. Man, it sure sounds cool. <laughs> uh, anything else for? Him? Mm, nope, nope. That's it. Okay, Zau. I will bite the jelly. Bite the jelly. Okay. Yeah. The welcome to my world. I will try. <laughs> wow. I mean, that's a jelly bite for sure. <laughs> oh my god! Oh, holy cow! <laughs> Yo, they big. I forget. That's a big and then bite. Tail whip the other. Tail whip the <laughs> other one. Okay. I believe I have to do one on yeah. each. Yeah, yeah, it's it's one of the weird conditions of their multi attack. It doesn't let you spin in place. Uh, hits the cloud. Okay. Just nom, and as I'm doing it, I just firm almost gets unseated as I whip around at full speed. I have my rope tether. Okay, I'm not going nowhere. I'm <laughs> staying with there. This guy. The amount of roaring that I'm doing silently, at, from your perspective, it's like being on a Harley, I guess. Like just, <laughs> just incredible vibrations. <laughs> Subwoofer going on. Yeah. Um, yeah. Uh, That's my um, turn. Okay, as your tail impacts the um, uh, smoke monster, um, you're unable to see it because you're kind of backwards to it. Um, I'll yep. say, Firm, you can notice this, that um, uh, the tail slam could do a lot of damage, but doesn't mm-hmm. seem to impact the air as much as possible. Um, it's because it's not magical damage. I figured. Yeah. To add to the yeah. thematics, while he's sitting here screaming and roaring, and like Firm notices that, he's gonna pretend like he doesn't, and he's just start banging his, uh, his knife on the shield while like raising his hands and fists in the air. So We're it going just makes primal over here. Mm-hmm. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Nobody sees it. Yeah, yeah. No one... <laughs> yeah. <laughs> There's something crazy happening out there, and it's not <laughs> coming for me yet, yeah. so. <laughs> Rael screaming like, "There's a dinosaur! There's a, <laughs> dinosaur. <laughs> a giant lizard!" Um, to be fair, he saw he was in the courtyard for the fiasco, wasn't he? Or was yeah, he? Yeah, I, yeah, yeah. I think yeah, he was. Uh, yeah, for sure. Um, he saw the weird striped dinosaur. Yeah, yeah. He know he knows it's you. It's just like still, you know. <laughs> 
<clears throat> um, okay, uh, Jellyfish um, is going to go after um, Miss Ember Ooh, with a 25 to hit. Yep. Uh, is this creature immune to the blind condition? <laughs> Um, it's a jellyfish. So do you, do you have to use it and then find out? I'll I'll use it because I don't ha- like I don't think a lot of these are going to be useful otherwise. So, um, uh, you feel the curse take place. Nice. Woohoo! Um, Interesting. Uh, okay. So what is it doing to it? Uh, a minus d six. Ah. Uh, so it's twenty three to hit. That'll still hit. Still hits. Okay. Um, gets you for 11 piercing, um, and you are okay. grappled and restrained as the tentacles wrap around. It's actually only 8 piercing. Ooh. But I will need to make a concentration check. I always forget to ask you about this, because I remember it, but I don't ever ask. Do you still include your heavy armor master? Damn I did armor. remember. Yeah, that's what I just remembered. Oh, okay. Yay. Yeah. The first time wasn't piercing damage, it was necrotic, so it wouldn't have applied. But yeah, it's and... been like a year since I remembered. <laughs> <laughs> it's, it's, good to, it's good to check. This thing does not have <laughs> mad it's not magical tendrils. Um okay, cool. Uh it's grappled you. Um it is your turn, Ember. Cut those tentacles right off of me. Get the attack button. There we go. Ooh. Uh, what? it hits it. It hits it. Because it's still targeting y- you for some reason. What the f- Yeah, you hit the jellyfish. Bleaky, bleaky. I, 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 I'm I hovering know. over it. I hit T. I know. I got I, the little I, arrows. I see your little, uh, your dot. I see your On the other hand, dot. it's been working. Yeah. <laughs> fire damage. Uh, 16 fire damage. Okay. I just, where where are these D6 rolls when I'm yeah. rolling attributes? Like that's a 16 on 3D6. <laughs> I had like a 14 or 15 before. Okay. Uh still I'm sorry, wait, my I'm restrained. You're okay. grappled and restrained. Yes. Uh, let me roll another attack roll because oh, I did not roll at disadvantage. Oh, gotcha. Previously. Uh, that's uh, only a 12, so that probably misses well, it. Well, <sighs> will miss. Yeah. Oh, okay. uh, That you do hear. <laughs> <laughs> I, so there are moments I, I think I'm always on mute because I try to do that, and sometimes I just forget that it's not. <laughs> <laughs> My bad. Uh, Zal, you hear a roar. <laughs> you feel someone <laughs> roaring. <laughs> like, through my toes. <laughs> um, okay, uh, made the attack, Ember. Anything else? You still have your spiritual weapons. No, no, no. no, no I never, I, yeah, yeah, I didn't never get that cast. That. Yeah. yeah. Um, That's so it. any anything, okay. Nope, I can't move and I got no bonus action. Okay, yeah. It's up to you. All right, I saw Rainier disappear off in this direction, so I'll head out over there. Um, I know I'm assuming you mean well, Ragnarok, because Rainier is still right next to you. I didn't see Rainier. I, I had to move in order to see Rainier. Yeah. Oh. Yeah. So it's that. Uh, I actually only need to move five feet, but um, moving ten feet, I can now see Rao as well. But I know what the jellyfish hug is like, and I don't like it, and I don't like it for my friend. So I will use a, another sorcery point or a subtle spell, and I will um, cast Vortex Warp on Ember Prime. Ember Prime? Okay. Yeah. Very good. Ember, I'm assuming you will allow him? Hell yeah. Okay. And I'll just put ember down right in front of me because i Just still right like next. my barrier okay. <laughs> that grappled, uh, and uh that Cal, you're not... it. okay yeah. cool i'm you're not, not concentrating, concentrating. Okay, no i was uh, uh, yeah thank you it's fairy fire yeah oh the yeah the fairy fire that's right yeah the guy is long dead um okay uh you're all good i am thanks okay 
<laughs> um, jellyfish. Jellyfish ain't gonna do nothing. Jellyfish. It might do something. Um, let's see. You're on top of the creature. Mm -hmm. So um, one to two is you. Three to four is uh, the creature. It's a one. Okay. These tendrils reach down, try to wrap around you, Firm. Um, it's a 20, but not nat 20. I'll shield. I don't want to get grabbed. Okay, the tentacles grab and are prevented from holding you as they're wrapping around your body, but the shield is protecting them from making contact. Um, I hate to be a dick, but that does require verbal. Mm. Oh, ooh, no, that's you're being you're being uh, true mm. to uh, our current uh, battlefield condition. Yeah, yeah, I did not okay. see that. Do you have anything else you can do? No. Of counter spell, so it doesn't count. <laughs> <It's>, <laughs> yeah, that won't help you here. Um, okay, uh, 20, it looks like 20 is your AC. Sure he is. Uh, okay, the tendrils grab hold of you. Um, you are hit for um, uh, 11 piercing damage. Um, we'll need a con save. Uh, the DC is 10 uh, for haste. Save. Easy. Um, it can't multi-attack because it already has you now. Um, cool, you were grappled and restrained. Nice. Yeah, so if the dinosaur moves, <laughs> you won't be moving with it. Can I advocate to still be holding it, my rope in my hand? <laughs> Like I can be uh, grappled, but I would like to be holding the I'm rope. Break you wanna it. be you wanna be holding the rope? Sure, yeah, we'll say you're holding the rope. See how that uh, works out. Um, <laughs> arm gets ripped out of the side. <laughs> yeah, you're not gonna like it. That's my cutting arm! <laughs> no! Uh Ragnarok. This is like cutting. <laughs> hey. Oh my god, wait. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Da -da -da -da. Your unarmed strike score a critical hit on a roll of 20 or 19. Is oh, that a 19? Me. That's a 19. I forgot okay. that last time. <laughs> you have so many things. I have so many things. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Uh, number two. Oh, that's <laughs> another. <laughs> Uh, that's so wild okay the nice. fog dissipates and there's another wave of detonation as a, another silenced area is created whoopsie nice <laughs> <laughs> double silence double silence uh, with, if you're in the Venn sorry. diagram everything's twice as loud <laughs> <laughs> Uh, of these two that I see now, uh, are any of them grappling any of my comrades? Yes, the one to the south is correct. Well, um, from your perspective, um, you can't see firm, so you okay. actually don't know unless you move. So the answer to your question is, uh, from your perspective, no. Would I see its arms outstretched? Tentacles? They, they all have their tentacles dangling like down and everything, right? So um, yeah. you would have to move to know about any of it. Yeah, I think he would go for the one to the right then. Uh, that hurts. <laughs> but he just knows that his other people are really close by. All right. Uh, two more attacks. Okay. Um, from where you are now, you also see the horses are dead. Oh, yeah. <laughs> we don't need to make any deck saves for that explosion, right? No, not no, no. That that just, yeah, that one just creates a silence zone. Okay. Um, I will attempt to savage attack of that. Okay. So it was three. And we'll stick with a three. <laughs> okay, so ten, 10 damage. Yep. Okay. Savage attacker is not helping me this time around. All right. Hits. Oops, sorry, I forgot to click it. There we go. Hmm. That was cool. Okay. One, two, 
three, four. Yep. Don't you get one more? You had five um, last time with your bonus action. Did I only do three? You did. Um, oh, you you have. Oh, I only uh, did three. Yeah, I have one yeah, more. One more. Two strike. two crits, and then um, you did the one yep. claw, and then the fang. Thank you very much. You're welcome. Oh, Oof. that's a miss. <laughs> Maybe I should have been quiet. Nah, it was worth a try. <laughs> yeah, definitely worth a try. <laughs> All right, that's my turn. Okay. Uh, Rael, okay. You gotta come back and get this jellyfish. Um, was Rael? He was out of range from the other thing, so he doesn't know that it does anything. Um, okay. He turns. Okay, he can see. That's a horse. Um, okay. Ooh, low damages. Uh, a bunch of magic missiles slam into the jellyfish um, for seven damage total. I don't know where he's at, and I hate to ask, but is he in the red, the orange circles? Oh, I'm sorry. Actually, yeah, 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 yeah. No, completely correct. I'm just like, <laughs> oh, what what can he do? He can't do any. He can't do anything. Uh, let me actually see. Can he? Just stay alive, can... boy. Just stay alive. Uh, verbal, 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 verbal. <laughs> He's our spokesperson. His life is what matters. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Honestly, buddy, stay back. It's okay. <laughs> uh, you see, you you see, as the sword drawn, uh, but there's like horse corpses in the way of where he needs to get. Um, uh, he and the horse simply retreat. Iron Maiden's 1987. Uh, double album Horse Corpses was spectacular. Or, <laughs> uh, he, wow. He retreats uh, sword at the ready, but can't actually do anything. He'll take the dodge action. Nice. Um, okay. Air creature. Um, sick. 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 Ow, my leg. Uh, sit cool. Uh, okay. Uh, this air creature. Yeah, that's a good athletics roll. Uh, you see, it extends its like its like appendages it's walking on up onto the dino and like launches itself up into the air, um, enough to try to grab you. Um, so it's gonna make a slam attack on you for him. Can I am? Can I like? argue for disadvantage or at least that it would roll against its friend thing too considering I'm wrapped up in the tentacles uh no <laughs> <laughs> uh, no but, uh, you're welcome that you're welcome I mean you're welcome to ask that but the, the, answer, the answer is no <laughs> they, they seem like a you know, like a symbiotic hunting pair they maybe do this sometimes you know um Okay. Oh, one, of you whole, step, one of you is one of them is pinning you while the other one's swinging for you. Like, yeah. oh my <laughs> god! Even with the restrained, uh, it's too much movement on the dinosaur and moving and everything. It can't. It didn't roll high enough, even with advantage, right. to get you. Yeah. Um, okay. Lands back down on the ground by the feet of the great dino. Um, Rainier. All right. Here we go. We. Oh, shit. Hey, big hit. How? how oh, fuck that. Hold on. 
God damn. <laughs> Welcome to my life. <laughs> bad, bad round. Bad round. Bad uh, round. Yeah. Uh, I, how, how's that one fucking looking? <laughs> it doesn't look good. It doesn't look good. All right. Uh, too bad I can do shit all about that. All right. That's my turn. <laughs> okay. Uh, Firm, you are grappled and restrained by this jellyfish monster. How far up in the air am I? On the T Rex? How big is the T Rex? Oh, okay. I, I thought it had like lifted me off the ground. No, no. It just it it's um just got you uh, while you're on the T Rex. Probably Ooh. like twenty feet off the ground, right? Yeah. So yeah. So you're about like twenty feet up. The tendrils, you know, have you like it, like as the T Rex moves, like your feet fully lift from it because like you can't stay on it while this thing has you. you know? mm-hmm. yeah. Um. Okay. Not, nice. It's not twenty feet. You'd be like. 15 feet high. Yeah, there you go. Yeah, there you go. Oh, okay. Uh, uh, well, since it's holding me, Firm's only thing he can do right now in this orange silent zone is Rhyme's Binding Eyes. I'll just upcast it to fourth level while it's right here. You should blast, blast, blast the jellyfish directly with it? in its face. Hell yeah. yeah. I'm, directly in its face, I just don't. I assume we're above the cart, so yeah, it's fine. Well, yeah, well, if you aim up, then you're yeah, not hitting yeah. your... Yeah, yeah, yeah. The end of it might be visible by the people I on the other side, roll. actually. Oh, shit. Yeah, uh, none of you roll uh, saves. Uh, just to make just to make sure you don't accidentally kill <laughs> <laughs> Well, so would they look up and see a blast of ice fly over their head? <laughs> <laughs> um well i guess it, it depends what angle he's shooting it at right if you're That's shooting fair. it he's upwards going yeah. um then uh you know it's just going above you um uh okay it's uh what is the same con save okay because i didn't roll for it which is wild it's targeted too um okay what's in your dc is 14 okay it did succeed on its uh save with a roll to 15 Mm -hmm. Um, so to have is what 14? I don't okay. know, math. Yeah, that's I think 17 because 18 yeah. and 18 36. Yeah, 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 yeah. Three more damage, okay. Um, incredible, not frozen in place, but like the ice gets on it, and then you see the colors flare as the ice kind of shatters off of it. Um, but like, uh, its colorations are flickering. You've done an incredible amount of damage to it still. Okay, mm -hmm. amazing. Um, still grappled and restrained. Anything else? Any bonus actions? Nope, that's it. Okay. Um, do you want to like flavor blast this thing? I think that still works, right? No, because it didn't fail. It didn't fail. Okay. Mm. Uh, Zong? Yeah, I'm gonna bite the jelly, tail swipe the other one. Yeah. Uh, on the jelly, hits. Oh, oh, yeah, yeah, that's a bite. That's a bite for sure. And then, um, yeah, tail whip the other one. Okay. Um, I will need a <laughs> Ragnarok, yeah. the T Rex, not use all and firm as it explodes in a flash of color and uh, some damage swirls out. Yep. Oof, geese. What is the point of having advantage? <laughs> yeah you right mm -hmm. oh my god alright so nope wait is it it is voice never mind damn um, I do have one the, free pass the T-Rex as it. well yeah all the things were going off and it's taking it's time yeah okay cool Save from... Shocking, uh, considering it's in my mouth right now. <laughs> um, okay. I don't know why I rolled the second one, but uh, yeah, it looks like the first dice is a five on it anyway. Um, okay. 
Uh, okay, it's um, eight, 18, right? Yeah, 18 necrotic damage to anybody that failed the save. Zero. Anything on success? Uh, half on success. Okay. Uh, Where's the air creature takes 18? 42? Yeah, there we go. Math. Oh, yeah, they're trying. Uh, Still checking. I don't... I feel like I have a feature somewhere that gives me advantage advantage on these, but I don't think I have it. Deck saves or or concentration? I thought it was, but I don't think... No, I don't think I have it, no. Um, I went with the haste. It died. Yep. Uh, okay, Ragnarok, you suddenly become very lethargic. Uh, and then tail swipe the other one. Okay. Half damage, uh, still 19, good damage. Yeah, still very good damage. Okay. As in... I've got the squishy thing in my mouth. Yeah, you see the colors just fade uh, from it as its body kind of detonates a little bit, but pieces of it are still in your jaw. Um, okay. Um, there's one left here. Um, when haste ends, you're are you stunned. Yep. I it's basically. It's uh here. Let me uh, pop it's, it. It's, it's not hold a stunned on. condition. Is it incapacitated? Yes, it, there. No. It. Yeah. You. You don't no, have you things. Nothing has advantage an on you. Condition. You just okay. can't take. Yeah. yeah you it just does have advantage because a reckless attack. Yeah. It importantly does not include all of the worst parts of stun. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. 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 That's why I just want to make sure about that. It does um, not directly shut down your rage, but by not being able to attack, if you do not take damage, that mm-hmm. will stop your rage. Yeah. Yep. Don't worry. Uh, you're gonna take some damage. <laughs> <laughs> well, you might. Your AC is very high, so we'll see. Uh, okay. Has advantage. First attack's a miss. Oh, there we go. What is that? Eighteen on the die. Okay. Uh, a twenty-eight to hit Ragnarok. I'll take that. <laughs> okay, finally, something hits me. Never um, been so happy to take damage. <laughs> um, <laughs> it's 12 piercing damage. Um, and then you are grappled and restrained. Oh, God. <laughs> yeah. You know. Beat Doug, I believe, I believe earlier this week you said he was unkillable. And I still believe you, but <laughs> I'm, I'm worried for you now. <laughs> We were talking about bringing whispers in, and I was like, "That's never gonna happen because Ragnarok's basically unkillable." He, he's almost <laughs> unkillable. Like, <laughs> that's one of those things where if Ragnarok oh, goes wait. down, we're in the middle of a TPK, which means how our... much? How much damage is that again? Uh, it was twelve piercing. I forgot to. I forgot to have a resistance. <laughs> yeah, you have resistance to, to, to that. Yeah. Yeah. All right, we're good. <laughs> <clears throat> okay. Cool. Uh, Ember Prime. I am back to being grappled, I believe, and restrained. Uh, I got hit, I think. I vortex dwarf you out of it. Yeah, yeah, I was like, I don't think you are, because I've been pretty good about tagging people's tokens. Mm -hmm. Yeah, you're a vortex dwarf. Your friend saved you. Cool. Then I can slash this one without disadvantage. Time. Since, as far as I'm aware, everything over there is handled. I just gotta kill this. Mm-hmm. <laughs> I ain't grappled no more. Oh. That was just... Mm-hmm. That felt bad. That was hateful. Yeah. yeah. Well, yeah. that was my turn. <laughs> oh, no. Hey, that flame sword has done some work, so... 
hate on it so much. Roll hasn't even showed up in the chat for me, so I'm not sure what's going. I on. yeah, I saw the it's I saw the die. The yeah, yeah. <laughs> we, we, we all we all saw that. <laughs> yeah, we all saw the two. <laughs> no one wants to acknowledge it, but uh, we did see it. We all saw uh, that switch between an 18 and a two. Yeah. <laughs> because I'm lagging slightly, that took like three seconds to happen. <laughs> like I got to watch you for a good long while, being like, oh. Uh, okay, Cal. All right. You like a little color? Uh, try a little glitter. <laughs> <laughs> okay, definitely hits. Ooh. Okay. As it detonates into a wave around you all. I have to give it one HP to make it easier to do. Has everybody been remembering to change your colors? Mm-hmm. Okay. Uh, yeah, when the, when the when the other one exploded, um, since the T Rex doesn't have any equipment, uh, hey, there we go. From three of your pieces of equipment, there are huge changes permanently. Can my nails be pretty colors? Sure, you're a T Rex, so I really don't. I should know this because of what I'm studying, and I don't know what a hue is. Uh, yeah, just a color. Oh, okay. I thought it was like a a glow. <laughs> Changing the shield. The, the armor, glittery nail polish on the yes. big old claws. <laughs> Hell yes! I've decided I also want my nails to change because I use them so much. <laughs> um, oh, Rael falls to the. Oh my god! <gasps> it falls to the. He's not dead. He falls to the ground because his <laughs> fucking horse is dead. <laughs> The way you said it, though, was so... Yeah. Well, it's because the token gay got the prone condition automatically, and I, I was like, I didn't, like, they're not tagged together as, like, you're riding, so it's so wild that uh, it's somehow new uh, uh, to do that. Um, okay. Uh, it was DC 13 deck save. Everybody take their damage. That takes it. It was 18. 18 on fail, nine, uh, half if you succeed. <gasps> no, my dinosaur. <laughs> oh, you're still suspended in the air. Oh, there goes my flame blade. That's three twos in a row. I think I'm going to have oh, to use God. my inspiration on this. I Is was... Ember inspired? No. No? Okay. I've got an inspiration for you, Ember Prime. Fine. This thing is dead, so... It's just my flame blade. Oh. Nice. The dinosaur lives. Okay, the dinosaur remains. Inspiration well spent. This why I always jealously hoard my one. <laughs> okay. Cal, the jellyfish explodes in a flash of colors, a wave of deadly energy... Um, it is still completely silent here. Your and uh, your is Eldritch Blast require? Oh, what's that? I think it might. Is, I'll just does use Eldritch... a sorcery point for subtle spell. Yeah, yeah. I was about to say, I was like, it does require one, but I know you have um subtle spell. Okay, cool. Yeah, and I will just start working my way around the cart. Because okay. I know I've got it's... allies who I have not seen. Yeah, directly south is difficult terrain because there's horse corpses. Okay. So I can make it to about there. And I see Ragnarok. Um, I... It's interesting. I don't see the creature that is grappling him, but would I see that he's grappled? Um, no, because you you exploded that creature. Oh, that was the creature that was grappling. I got it. Correct. Okay. Great. Um, then that is my turn. Okay. Uh, I got a whole lot of rock. Yeah. Yeah. You see what happened was. Okay, bye. <laughs> um, <laughs> he Rael... said okay, bye. <laughs> <laughs> Rael... Rael stands up and... Uh, like wraps his hands around his horse. 
Are you busy can I, hugging can, it? Can I not? Um, yeah, his horse, like his horse died. You know? I'm not, I can't unprone him for some reason. That's fine. Um, can, does he have anything to do about that? Yeah. Uh, you see, uh, through great effort, uh, he feeds a healing potion into the horse. Huh. Okay, that, that horse is alive. Air creature. They're just not that smart, and it's uh, gonna try to go for the big man. That's a nat 20 to hit the dinosaur uh, for 35 bludgeoning. Jesus. Okay, now uh, 35. Cannot so that's a, you. that save has to be a 17. 17. Oh, don't worry. This will be fine. It's probably fine. Hey. It's it not looks... even. Yeah, I was almost like, it Not looks like it's good. Uh, yeah, oh dude, my God. No, no sweat. Don't even worry about it. Oh my God. <laughs> I wasn't worried. I don't know why anybody else is worried. It just <laughs> gnaws away at your foot trying to absorb So you, you said 35? 35 uh, Jesus bludgeoning. Right. It was a crit, wasn't it? It was a crit. Uh -huh. Yeah. Uh, okay, Renee. Okay. If Rael's not dead. <laughs> <laughs> oh god I can't I can't see anything <laughs> I love that I just saw that oh my god is there like com no there's no sounds there's no sounds god there's fucking no sound. <laughs> yeah. yeah you okay. might hear the stomping but yeah I you can, can like get... I'm sure I can feel the earth yeah coming coming down this way yeah you can feel that there's uh, something very large in the uh, fog around you okay I will just hold an action until maybe something comes into view okay uh action to shoot I imagine yeah 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 I, I don't remember do we do full attacks or just one attack I think I've been doing full I think you're only supposed to do one but I think I've been doing full so okay, we, we do I I do full, so I, that's why I was asking because I yeah. don't because it's because I don't follow the rules. <laughs> <laughs> You're such a rebel. Yeah. <laughs> uh, okay, firm. Riding uh, the dino. Uh, yeah. I and the tail is at the air thingy. That's right. Yep. Can I, for thematics, use my shield to like skateboard down the dino and use uh, rhymes binding ice on the air thingy? Okay, you're not going to be on the dino anymore, though, when you do that. Yeah, that's fine. Okay. Uh, give, me an uh, give me an acrobatics check. Uh, I'll make the DC... Uh, oh, let, me see, let, me see, let me see your stats, though. What kind of uh, <laughs> acrobatics yeah. you got going yeah, okay, on here? Okay, if you choose okay. acrobatics, I it's have an, that it's an easy. It's an easy five, okay? <laughs> the only way I could fail it. Hey. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Describe your super sick shield riding. He like takes. He like flicks it off of him, and he he like just starts staring down the thing, and uh, you know, like Goku fighting Kefla and the new Dragon Ball Z. He just starts uh -huh. like charging up the uh the rhymes binding ice in his hand while skateboarding yeah. down the the Duraskar spine. And look, I appreciated that one. That is legitimately a cool, a cool moment. <laughs> At the end of the tail, he just blasts this thing. Hell yeah! Stick, kick, flip, and uh, soar over it. Uh, okay, yeah. Roll oh damage. yeah, I get updated to fourth level. Okay, cool. Uh, you don't roll. I will roll for this thing. Um, it does have advantage. Okay, it does succeed, but takes half mm -hmm. damage again. Okay. Start walking up. Hell yeah, it's form flickering greatly. 
I don't know where my tokens at, so I can't move myself. Oh, oh, oh yeah. yeah. Okay. Yeah. Uh, anything else? Uh, no, he's just going to start taunting it like he, kn- he knows he probably shouldn't, and he's just going to start banging the shield at it. Okay, hell yeah. Uh, Zaur. Yeah, I whip around and try to bite it. If it will do the thing all of a sudden. Okay, there we go. Oh. Definitely hits. Kill. Oh my god. Uh, only yeah. half. Uh only half, but uh that is enough. Yeah, uh you I'm bite down. Now. Yeah, you bite down on a vaporous cloud and there's a uh rumble in your mouth as its body explodes outward. Um, and creates another large zone of silence, but no damage to anyone. Nice. Do you need for verbal for rituals? I feel like you do. It depends if the spell needs it. Right? Oh, okay. And also, no, no. I think a ritual is really... Uh, it's a good question. If, if you <laughs> Is there a ritual spell that's not uh, verbal? And then it feels like an like, intrinsic part of a ritual. It does, but I can oh, see. There he is. Uh, yeah. I I come running in this direction and probably almost run you over because Zal doesn't know that anything has been handled over there, and Dumb Dino was like has the vague impression oh. that there is danger afoot on the other side. Yeah. So I just run like directly over the top of you, Rainier. Uh, Cow passes. His, <laughs> there is inaudible uh yelling <laughs> running by them with the with the dinosaur yeah, yeah you're, I not, mean, you're not on it anymore my man you should, I, no, but you, i can you, run behind him right for the, you, you oh no the fight's yeah. still going the, yeah, this is like as as my I'm turn cool. is ending i like hit where ember is and like whip my head over the top of ember like looking for the next thing <laughs> okay okay uh as the fog surrounds you all and a giant lizard that is familiarish to most of you uh comes into view um there's no colors in the sky you don't see any shadows in the smoke moving um, but you do know that if you do not act quickly, your horses will be dead dead. My, my, my plan for my action on my turn was to bust out the healer's kit and heal at least one of the horses. Okay, uh, it is your turn. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not fast enough to heal both, so whichever one is closer to me. Yeah, you're basically next to one right now. Usability. One of these days I'll remember that it's under features. Not today. You can always favorite it. Bring you it know, that's page. the funniest part. I did. I did. <laughs> it's on my front page. Yeah, there you go. <laughs> still, still didn't get it right. <laughs> I do that all the time. Uh, I will then pull out my one healing potion and hold it out for Cal to feed to the other one. I don't have an action. Or I just use my action. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, cool. Uh, the horse, you see it, its eyes brighten. Uh, you see its mouth opening, but you do not hear anything coming from it. Um, cool, Cal, you um, see that looking around, right? You see Ember's holding a uh, healing potion out. I assume you're like gesturing to the horse, right? Yeah. Yeah. I'm standing over the top of it. I'm so sorry. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I will Terrifying. grab it and uh, do my best to feed it to a horse. Okay. Ooh. The horse is saved. Um I don't know where I can't there's so many things right in those faces. I can't even see. 
the horses anymore. Uh, so I'm just gonna bring in two two new horses <laughs> to, to represent that the horses have been saved. Yeah. <clears throat> okay. Horses alive. Um, okay. Uh, anything else you're doing, Cal? Nope. That's it. Okay. Cool. <clears throat> uh, that is the only immediate action that we required. Uh, turn base for. Um, combat comes to a close. Successfully defending and your cart, uh, your allies, and uh, resurrecting your horses. Incredible. Um, the area is still completely silent that you were in. Um, the ember and cow. Give her to this, this guy. He's dead. Uh, ember and cow. Um, since you're right next to the horses, the horses are scared of the giant lizard. Yeah, uh, so I'll need you to make animal handling as they're like struggling to get up and they're in their harness still and everything like that. Okay, Ember, you're able to soothe the horse by you, um, Cal. Unfortunately, the horse is a little uh, freaked out, a little bit too freaked out. Um, and he begins thrashing against its um, harnesses. Expected. It's a giant ass dinosaur. Yeah, if we're out of combat, I probably just like put do a full patrol around the area. Okay. Walking <clears throat> away from the horses. Begin walking away from the horses. Um, the horse that's freaked out. The lizard leaves, but um, it it tries yeah. to go. Uh, right. The other horse. Right. Uh, Ted, correct me if I'm wrong, but uh, if one horse goes, the other horse goes. Right. Usually, they're uh, gonna follow each other. They're still hitched. So they're they hitched might... for yeah. one. Um, but uh, uh, as far as like, horse behavior kind of goes. Um, uh, so the the cart just like kind of leaps uh, forward. Um, uh -oh. Amber, you're <laughs> if you don't get out of the way, the horse will uh, like knock you down, right? Yeah, I, um, I will do my best to roll out of the way, or failing that, just as the horse that I am helping is getting up to its feet to run, I will just hold on for dear life. Okay, yeah, yes. hold on for dear life. Uh, can I use my sticky hands to stay on the cart? Uh, you sure can. <laughs> you sure can. Uh, the cart begins to go. Amber, make me an athletics check. Uh, it's very low. DC is uh, just five for this. That was so scary. Okay. Mm -hmm. The cart begins to go. It gets, you know, it's the other horse is, you know, getting up. It gets about like 20 feet, but is now like in motion. Um, you, you guys are losing your cart into the fog. What are you doing? Uh, can I climb my way to the front and then attempt to take the reins? Take the reins? Yeah, sure. Um, I will do my best to pull reins, like, caught. Speak calmly. Enough! Stop! Okay. Uh, uh, no, let's get uh, um, animal handling from the both of you. Um, actually, I was going to say, uh, I was going to make it vehicles for you, Ragnarok, but I haven't been making anybody else do vehicle checks, so just animal handling. Vehicles might have been easier for me. <laughs> <laughs> do you think so? What's, what's the uh, thing for vehicles? Uh... Let's uh, honestly, uh, let's say it's strength to hold on to reins for two animals, right? Okay, right, I'll just do a strength check because I'm not proficient. Sure. Okay. Uh, okay, you all are able to reassert control over the cart and pull it to a stop. Um, I'll say that where it clears and ends, it ends and you can suddenly hear again. Um, so Ember and Ragnarok, you are out of this silence zone. Is it? 
well, at least we have the horses. Still. Yeah. Yep. Um, I will summon a ball of fire to my hand and just start. Well, what's a, what's a, like, are there trees above us or anything? Is it open yeah. sky? Um, well, the fog is still there. So, um, there will, like, there are trees. I just didn't make a forest map. So, like, there are trees okay. around. Yeah. Stay with the horses if you find the others. Yeah, I was just going to try to make light. Um, hey, you know what I have? I got me a wand of air glyphs. <laughs> oh, nice. <laughs> It'll it'll last for a minute, uh, and I will just start like we're over here, over here, giant arrows. Okay, cool. horses, carts, spray painting, uh, light arrows in this in the air right next to you. Okay, cool. Um, you all are able to like you all see the horses run right. You see them. Uh, you can see the glow. You chase after them. You are all able to catch and uh, up to one another. Um, and are out of the silence zone and can hear each other once more. Uh, the second, like, it's clear the danger has subsided a little, I'll probably drop the polymorph. Okay. Just because that would be, like, the kind of tell you, like, embed in the instruction to yourself, right? Like, <laughs> once no more kill, end it. Okay. Remember. I out took of the so much damage. Did you take damage? A lot of damage. I did. I'm. I. I. I took eighty one. What's the health of the T Rex? The health of the T Rex is one hundred thirty six. <laughs> I mean, it's a lot, but uh, I took yeah. a zol and a half. <laughs> took a zol and three fourths. A hey, good thing you polymorph. Mm-hmm. Uh, um. It, okay. Cool. You guys are. The fog is still persistent here. Um, it hasn't dissipated yet, but you have successfully defended yourselves here. Um, well, what what do you guys do? Give a high five to Zal. Teach me how to do that. I would say <laughs> once everyone's together, continue on so that we're not staying in here in case more show up. Were you riding me? Mm-hmm. <laughs> mm-hmm. I'm gonna be honest. From in there, it's kind of, it's a bit of a haze, and movement is strange. Things don't look right. Hmm. When they don't look right, like wrong colors or what? I didn't kill a horse, did I? No, 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 not a horse. I remember wanting to kill a horse. I don't know if I did it. I don't think I did it. You killed the um the squid looking thing. Oh, that's and, that's good. And a pack of air. I don't know how to describe that one. It's like giant pack of oh, air. Oh yeah, I, I know what those are. Oh okay. No, I cannot teach you. Let me read this description real quick. What are you uh, read? Oh, I, I have probably more. If I just don't have it prepped, and I just was wondering what the criteria was. So I was like, do I can Do I just gotta see what a creature look like? Yeah, that's why I picked the like Jurassicar as like the the template for. I'm using a T Rex in stat block, right? But mm-hmm. big lizard with two legs that run fast and is very scary with teeth. Yeah, is the template I'm rolling with. Um. Firm. Like, yep. Mm-hmm. Just so you're aware, mm-hmm. um, the uh, the air creatures like dissipate, right? Because they're you know smoke monsters, right? Yes. But the jellyfish creatures, although they explode, their corpses remain. Um, they are monstrosities for your chef stuff. Good eats. 
I look at Ragnarok. Name. I look at Ragnarok. And I'm like, I need help, please. I need help, please. For what? We gotta go get those things. I want to cook one or two. You see Ragnarok visibly nauseous and then jumps off the car. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, there's one. And there was another dead one over here. Yeah. yeah How much do these things weigh? Boof. Uh, I mean, it's like chunks of it. Uh, let's say it's like uh, 80 pounds once it's all, you know, there. He looks at Ragnarok. He's like, he's like, please, I can't do it. <laughs> Ragnarok considers this. <laughs> I, I, as a player, am still making a choice. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. You're, you're, in a, you're in the silence zone, so you're like gesturing towards him. Like, lift. He's like, look at it. He's like, why are you not helping? And he's like, please? <laughs> He'll please. Touch it. Is it sticky? Uh yeah, I mean it's a creature that's inside out essentially. <laughs> he puts his hand up to his mouth and visibly gags. <laughs> it's gonna be kind of like wrangling a waterbed. I'm gonna Ooh. smell it. <laughs> yeah, um, I mean it doesn't smell super great. Can Ragnarok read? Yes, what? <laughs> I, don't know. I don't entirely know. I don't remember if you've read stuff or if you've been bought, in red stuff. He bought a book on manners. Yeah. <laughs> oh, well, okay. <laughs> Maybe Firm should read that. <laughs> Firm writes down, he's like, I'll make you whatever you want plus extra if you can do this for me. And he, he like shows it to Ragnarok. He'll write, define extra. <laughs> He, he points at you. Well, we no, we're back, we're we're back, back in the town zone. Yeah. Oh, that's right. You're going robotic. <laughs> He's like extra is anything you want that we can grab. All right, I'm grabbing one chunk. That's it. <laughs> oh, fine. One is it a one is hand chunk it. or a two hand chunk? Uh, it'll be a two hand chunk. Yeah. But he'll be holding it out so it doesn't touch his body. Very generous. Yeah, As yeah, yeah. me, the player, actually holds my hand. <laughs> you don't want Very to get good. the gut on your fur. It's a whole yeah. thing. Um, yeah. I I know Sean may let this go, but I do want to add, um, I need the whole body. Yeah, you got to tell him that. <laughs> <laughs> he writes it down. He's like, no, no, no. He's like, whole body. <laughs> You don't hear it, but you see. <laughs> A whole body eye roll. <laughs> yeah, he'll start collecting the whole fucking body. <laughs> You're basically going to have to stand like under it slash in it and just walk <laughs> forward with it like draped over you. Thank you, Cody. Yeah, okay. <laughs> it's cool. Okay, um, the jellyfish, which are called uh, pygmy hapex, mm -hmm. uh, pygmy, 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 pygmy. <laughs> He's gonna come back and throw the stuff on the back and just say, "I don't want to talk about it." <laughs> <laughs> um, it's a CR three creature in terms of how many dice the um meal gets. It also does have immunity to poison. Ooh. And so it will give resistance to poison should be it should the meal be consumed. Come on. Nice. Come here, Ragnarok. I need to get that shit off you. Thank you. I'm using like prestidigitation and the like coarse brush that that I got. <laughs> Yes. Just get the gunk off. Ragnarok bears. <laughs> look at Cal. Be like, do you want some healing? Are you okay? You look you look rough. Uh, yes, I've seen better days. 
starts rubbing his hands together. Ha ha. How was uh y'all's side of the fight? Ha. Help. Thank you. Saw the inside of one of them a few times, but fine. Otherwise. Did it look like anything or, or just sort of dark? Sm- Mm-hmm. Was it wet? <laughs> um, no, no. <laughs> Imagine uh, it being wet in the way like if you've ever been skydiving, like you go through a cloud. Clouds Cody, are like, weird and wet. Cody, mm-hmm. people going skydiving uh, multiple times against their will is not a universal experience. <laughs> I didn't uh, against my will the second or third time. <laughs> yeah. Um. No more than like the fog itself, uh, you know, gotcha. condenses on you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But you definitely felt like you were in like it was like um, like its its whole body is like thunderous, right? So like it, you were being like vibrated while inside there. Ugh. Oh, oh, yeah. yeah, I I say that with uh, deep concern, <laughs> yeah. trepidation. That's the word. <laughs> I was able to take down two. I would have gotten three if from spell didn't end early. Sorry, I got exploded. Oh, well. and how many of them did I get? That's a good question. I think you got two? Three? I think you got two. Yeah, because you went T Rex mode and squished the jellyfish. You see, and... uh. Um... Rael, like, brings his horse up to you as a... I'm assuming your cart is moving. You all are continuing through the fall very slowly. Um, Rael says, uh, those things were wild. It, it Look, my armor, it sucked the color right out of it, and you all have... Things have changed on your... Well, your equipment... Do you think that's going to be a problem? I I don't know. It's just so strange. It's like it fed on the colors itself and then sucked the life out of me as as well, but strange creatures. Hey, Ember, you're, uh, uh, you got time back there? Four... Uh, maybe casting a, a ritual to see if uh, there is any identifiable problems upon anything that's been affected. Yeah, I can do that. Take ten minutes. Detect poison and disease. Hmm. Uh, there is no poison and disease anywhere within thirty feet of you. Okay. And then I will do the same thing for Detect Magic, and I will make sure to pay special attention to all the objects that have changed color. Okay. Um, uh, You don't notice any new magical things other than uh, what everyone currently has about them as normal. Um, Okay. Um, this would still affect a magical item regardless. Um, it doesn't have any restriction to the ability. Um, so several, uh, like all of you, it seems, um, were, fa- were in one or more blasts of this. Mm-hmm. Um, Not I. Uh, right, you right. Are. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because you, you were polymorphed, yeah? <laughs> yeah. <clears throat> um, uh, so you may have anywhere from one to two items, um, or more, depending on my blast you were in, um, that have been color hue changed. Um, the, you can choose those items as you see fit. Um, the coloration, it's not a magical effect. It, the, um, make an Ancient Arcana check. Is everybody... Just uh, just, just, uh, just Ember. Okay. Okay. Uh, 12 will do it, uh, given the, you were just fighting the things and see them do all their stuff. Um, 
you believe that these creatures, um, not only do they absorb like life from uh, like the living, you know, any kind of living entity, um, but they also drink the like literal color from things and subsist on that as well. Um, and that these coloration changes, while not magical in nature, are just a function of how the strange creature interacts with reality. And these color changes are permanent to these items. But, uh... Sorry, go ahead. Oh, oh yeah, but, but cosmetic, right? Cosmetic, yeah, yeah. There's no, yeah. there's no they're mechanical not eating effect. Real magic or material. Yeah, yeah. They're not doing like a rust monster thing or anything like that. Gotcha. It's, uh, yeah, just it changes the color. Uh, no, nothing I can find on any of us. Uh, this, and she will gesture towards uh, her old mace, which has changed uh, to a. Like a, a powder blue tin uh, hue, powder blue color. Mm -hmm. I don't. I don't think I can do much about this. I could try some powerful dispelling, but just kind of does the not worth it. Shrug. I quite okay. like my new colors. So long as it's not uh, marking us for further, I don't know, victimization or nothing, but similar predators, I think, you know, whatever. This group, get them. Okay. Moving ahead. It's hard to keep track of your exact position on this trail as the thick fog remains for another few hours. But as the sun begins to set, the fog begins to dissipate. And by last light, you have exited out of this thick, unnatural obscurance. Yeah. The trail that you're on becomes rougher until it primarily disappears and you're just moving through the forest at this point. Let me see something. With Rael's assistance, you're able to navigate. Though he does explain that even though he knows these woods, travel through can still be treacherous. And it is still easy to get lost, even if you know what you're doing. By last, um, as the evening comes to an end here, you can see just as the final bits of light are... Um, uh, uh, leaving the sky, you do notice that there are some stone structures. Structures is even a generous word. You notice that there's some, like, large stonework that you begin passing. Um, some of it looks to be sculpted in a manner. Other is just, others have been just left into the elements and uh, left to break down over time. Vines growing moss and whatnot, um, but you were entering into the outskirts of what once was the great city of Finlanora. On this final evening of rest before you arrive in the city uh, tomorrow, is there anything anybody would like to do? <laughs> uh, I think 
um i think i forgot to mention it the past couple times but like on our trek as we've been doing this like uh in in many of the ritual like evening offerings that uh rainier typically is participating in uh he is definitely making sure to uh offer to uh are we calling her saluna uh i mean you can pronounce it however you want uh i think i right. uh, when i read it uh saluna yeah saluna yeah okay um just in- making sure she is included in whatever like sacrifice he's offering um for the evenings very good You can see now that the fog has been left behind, and although the trees are quite dense as the leaves and boughs above move, you can still see the sky, um, and you can make out just the tiny sliver of a new moon beginning. Nice. Hit. Okay. Uh, if nothing else, you all can have your long rest, and uh, we will pick up uh, next session with your arrival into Finlanora.